I'm going to be doing another chatty get ready with me, except I'm going to be trying some new products. Um, the products that I'm going to be trying is this L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I know this has been out for a while, but it's new to me. I have not tried it. Um, this is new-ish, like, been out for a month, I would say. The Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Complete. Full Coverage Coverance Complete. And this is in the color 102 Fair Porcelain. And this has been out for a while, but I've never tried this concealer before. It's the Maybelline Better Skin... Uh, or Superstay Better Skin Camouflant Corrector, and this is in the color 10 Ivory. So I'm going to be starting out with my moisturizer as per usual. Actually, let me, mm, I think I can just push my hair back. My ears are like far away. They're not that far away, but far away from me. <laughs> so I'm just going to start with my L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturizer. So how was everyone's Valentine's Day? I'd like to know, did you do anything fun? Um, my boyfriend and I were just kind of sick of like going out every year. So, cause I mean like you, I mean it's great. It's good and fun to go out to dinner and everything on Valentine's Day, but like basically what we were sick of doing is like going to a restaurant and then just having to sit there for like two hours before we even get to eat so basically we just ordered pizza and like binge watched disney movies it was great it was a good time and then after we were like bored of movies we played mario kart so we had a good night um of just chillaxing take my um becca backlight priming filter and apply that as my primer oh i fucked up do something that allowed us to stay in like we still exchange gifts and everything and it was fun it was really fun um but yeah I, I think that's like a tradition we might start doing is just like ordering pizza and like watching movies because it was just really nice and like relaxing and it's like we got to spend time together still but we didn't have to like get all like not that getting dressed up wasn't fun or anything but it's just it was just nice to just chill you know what I mean it was and it was a rainy gloomy day anyway so that might have been part of it Okay, so now I am going to take my primer that I'm going to be trying out. Again, this is the Super Stay Better Skin uh, concealing, Concealer Corrector, and it's 10 Ivory, like I just said. I'm just going to conceal any breakouts I have. So I would like for this to be lighter, but they didn't have a shade lighter than this. So when I get to the point where I'm going to brighten, I will use my Fit Me concealer. I'm just going to... Most of this is just scarring and like discoloration from uh, my hormonal breakout. Not much of... Eh, most of it's not active, but I still like to cover it up. Um, so now... Or which brush do I want to use? I'm just going to be taking this BS Small Round Top Brush. I'm buffing that in. I know it's dirty and it needs to be cleaned. Today is cleaning week. So that will get done. Oh wow, this is a really nice concealer. Maybelline makes such good concealers. Stupid breakouts. I swear I always get pimples and blackheads in like the worst places too. Like, cause I don't know about you guys, but like I know everybody says not to pop their pimples, but like if I don't pop them, like they don't go away. So I have to pop them, but it's always, I swear to God, it's always in like a painful spot. And it makes me so mad. Okay, so now I'm using the Superstay um, Full Coverage Coverance Complete um, Foundation. I really like, oh, I messed it up. I really like that this has a pump because a lot of Maybelline foundations don't have a pump. So they've been changing that recently, I know though, so that's good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pump that on my brush. If it ever comes out, there we go. I probably don't need this much because it's supposed to be super full coverage. I've heard a lot of good things about the holy shit talking mushrooms. I heard a lot of good things about this foundation and based off of how full coverage that everybody's saying it is, I wanted to see if it's a dupe for um like either like the Kat Von D locket or um the Becca um, the full co the coverage complexion one or whatever it's called or like but actually I really this does feel very similar to the Becca one that I was just talking about it's extremely similar to this one the Becca ultimate coverage complexion like when I was putting it on just like the intensity of the pigment of the foundation and just like as it f feels this feels a little bit lighter 
like feels lighter like doesn't it looks it looks like I just put on my Becca one if I'm being real honest with you guys like I'm pretty sure this is a dupe except it feels lighter which actually I prefer so I think I'm gonna really like this foundation because I love that Becca one wow that's insane look at this I'm just showing you what it looks like on the skin this is kind of hard to cover but it just happened so but yeah it looks really good on the skin I really like it so far so yeah um definitely a dupe in my opinion for this guy so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to this definitely would say this is a dupe take my maybelline fit me concealer and this is in 15 fair and i think like the better skin the, the one that i just showed you the 10 ivory that was the lightest one um i don't know if they have a 15 my dogs 15 fair um in the better skin line or not but i didn't see one at target so otherwise i would have picked up the 15 one i actually looked for that shade because i figured they'd be similar shades across the lines you know what i mean so but yeah they didn't have it but i love this font this concealer this is my favorite concealer it just goes on so nicely okay i'm just gonna reuse the same brush i used to put on my foundation i know a lot of people think that that's not good to use like but that's what i do going to take my maybelline superstay better skin powder so i like the concealer and i like the powder oh so this is what the powder looks like sorry the light's bad um but i tried the foundation the not this okay i like this new foundation because this is super stay right yeah this one i like but i tried the old one that had a blue pump because all these beauty gurus were saying it was really good and maybe for them it was you know like i'm not trying to say they lied but i hated it oh my god it oxidized so bad on me and it didn't have very good coverage i hated it so much so i maybe i should try it again because when i was trying that foundation i wasn't really like super knowledgeable about makeup and i wasn't i don't know i may not have been applying it correctly but i disliked that shit so much but i don't even know like the one that matches this concealer um it like i just didn't like it so that's that so um now i'm going to take if i can find it anywhere oh i just think i just broke this um oh so now i'm gonna take my sleek um solstice oh <laughs> solstice palette and highlight oh lord okay so i'm just gonna take this eco tools brush and i'm gonna use this lightest one right here I love this highlighter, guys. It's so pretty. This whole palette too is just amazing. Like, my favorite thing to do lately is to take this highlight shade that I've been using, or that I just used, and put it on my brow bones in my inner corners. And, like, that's my eye look. And it looks so nice. Like, it just, like, it's not a lot of makeup, but it looks like you're, you're put together. You know what I mean? So I really, really enjoy that. Okay. So now... Oh my god, my back hurts for some reason. Like, I'm not that old, right? Like, okay, so... Well, sex brows. So now I'm gonna take... Actually, I'm gonna keep this out and use it as a mirror. So now I'm gonna take my... Oh, so now I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Universal Brow Power. And just kind of brush my eyebrows out. I always laugh because people will like compliment my eyebrows and like they're like how do you get that shape like what do you tell them to do and then I'm just like I've never had my eyebrows done in my life and like I didn't even think they looked that good to be honest with you like <laughs> I've never thought like wow I have perfect eyebrows like no that's not the kind of person I am but like I don't know apparently everybody likes the shape that they are so I'm like afraid to even like ever have them done because like I don't want them to get all screwed up plus I'm also afraid of like it hurting so <laughs> there's that aspect do you know how easy it is to do my brows like I know they look kind of big and bushy and that's like not everybody's thing 
but I like how they look so as long as they're shaped like I don't I don't care I don't know a lot of people are like well dramatic brows are in and I'm like are they though like I don't know maybe I know brows are like a trend right now like in makeup or they were anyway like I know like a lot of people are like oh brows on fleek you know what I mean but like me like if, as long as you can see them I don't care like I think I'm just gonna do that look I was telling you guys about how I like to put the highlighter on my eyes because I'm like not feeling a bunch of eye makeup right now like I'm just not so I'm gonna take this little laptop synthetic brush and run that just right on my brow bone like yes honey yes oh my god I freaking love this I love this highlight so much. It's so freaking beautiful. And then I'm going to take this little teeny tiny one and use that for my inner corners. I have to be really careful with this because sometimes I just straight up poke my eye. Like I stick it in there and I'm like, oh no. But it's the most precise one. So it's the easiest to do what I want to do. With. But see how that just looks so natural but like so like pretty? Like I love doing that. I think that'd be a great like look for like a bride um you know what I mean so and then if I want to take it one step further which I will do for this video just for y'all I will take my um holiday palette okay by Kylie my 2016 one and take this color right here sorry not the purple this color this like tan which is I believe chestnut and I'll just put that on the lid just to kind of give it a more like smooth appearance you know what I mean just to tie it all together but ba bang I know it doesn't really make a huge difference but because it's literally the color of my skin but like I'm going to be trying out this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. A lot of people have been saying it's a dupe for the Better Than Sex. I could see that. I mean, the packaging looks similar and the brush also looks very similar. This does feel like a very wet formula. It has the same smell, though, as the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, just the original one. But that makes sense because this is part of the Voluminous line. So it doesn't surprise me. But, like, wow, look at that. Just after a few strokes. It's very black mascara, which is nice. Because my lashes aren't super long, so they're not going to get crazy long, but that's it so far. It looks nice. Like, it looks really pretty. My all-time favorites are telescopic, L'Oreal Telescopic and um, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. The MAC Giggle Lash is really good as well. But it's not worth the $20 to me because the telescopic... Pretty much does what the MAC Giggle Lash does for me. Might be different for y'all, but... You just can't go ham on the bottom as well. So yeah, that's how the mascara looks. I think it looks nice. It's good. It's long. It's voluminous. Um, it, It's kind of doing the same thing that my perversion does. Which is good because then in a pinch, you know, I can just get the L'Oreal instead of the um, Perversion. But, like, whether or not it'll stay on all night or it'll flake or whatever, um, I will, I'll, time will tell, I guess. But, because my Perversion won't do that. So, we'll have to see. But, I don't know. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my lip balm on if I can find it. It's supposed to be peppermint, but, like... I keep touching my nose. I like to smell the peppermint. As far as tasting it, no. But you know what? It moisturizes my lips, so I don't care. But it leaves this, like, white. <laughs> it's like, that's why I only put it on before I put other makeup on. Because if I just kept it in my purse, like, yeah, I don't want that. So, so I'm just going to take my MAC lipstick in Angel. And just, yeah, put it on. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution um, setting spray and just set my face. Okay, so 
so that's the finished look um i hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me i was just i enjoyed trying out the new makeup um this is what it's looking like so far on the blemishes it is very full coverage but it's still like if you have an active breakout it's still gonna kind of be textury but it's good at like neutralizing the color and not making it look so red which is really all you can do with a lot of like foundations so yeah so far i'm really happy with it i think it's worth the ten dollars especially for the full coverage it basically looks exactly like my becca ultimate complexion coverage foundation when i put it on i definitely think they're a dupe so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next time bye I've been hoping so